All right, I wanted to give a little bit of an update on the progress of my uh, basement workshop here. Um, one thing I've definitely decided is I'm going to need a bigger desk, which Friday I'm going to go get the materials I need to build su build such a desk. And hey, I got a chair. And while I was messing around down here, I decided I wanted to find out what makes these guys, these little tiny speakers, extremely heavy and actually kind of loud, which this has a very, very nice solid case to it, surprisingly, for a Sony. So, give you a heads up on some of the videos that will probably be coming up very soon. Picked up these two. It is a, one is a Dell Dimension 3000, and the other is a Gateway Pentium 2 G6 350, so I'm assuming it's 350 megahertz which the the power button is broken out so I've got to pop the front case off see if I can fix that and along with that I also got the mon a matching Dell monitor Dell keyboard and mouse down here I have my Netgear wireless extender or repeater whatever you want to call it it does produce both uh, wired and and wireless. I have that down here so I can plug these in. And I've also got my uh, laptop down here, but that's you know kind of old and that this uh, Dell there's nothing wrong with the hard drive. I just stuck this in here because I wanted to try running a Linux on it. I've heard many good things about Kubuntu Linux, but quite honestly I I'm really not feeling it. I don't like it. It just doesn't seem to work for me. So, probably about to download another one and try that. Maybe I'll wait till after this is done uh, syncing my Dropbox. Which, this is running Zorin, but I really don't think that Dell will be able to handle Zorin. Because that is a little more a little more power, a little more powerful. It's kind of got the Windows 7 arrow-ish look, which is probably why I like it because I do like Windows 7. Um, have noticed a few things that are going to be a little bit of a problem working down here. One of which is this pipe that uh, seems to have quite a nice relationship with my head because they do seem to meet quite often. And um, down here, right next to the speaker, I've noticed got some uh, water running straight down going underneath the speaker which that's not water on that that's just I don't know the uh, black wood behind it looks like I've also got water coming down here and it's all going right underneath of these, which I'm really glad that I have them raised up a little bit with these carpet squares. And so far the top of the carpet seems dry. Which is a good thing. And then a few other things I have planned. Pick these weird boxes up that somebody obviously built. Just hold a 6x9 speaker. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. My plan is to basically mount one here and one over there. I have some speakers I can put in them. This is kind of an ingenious idea by whoever did it. Have these bolts going in there and they match, just go through and then the wires get attached to the bolts and then on both sides so you don't need any terminal blocks. I thought I was in the driest area of this basement, which clearly I'm not, which appears to be over here. However, there are a few things in my way. That's not too big of a deal. I really don't think the water is going to be that big of a deal. So what my plan is, the desk that I'm going to be building is actually going to be... Um, to be quite honest, it's going to be a couple kitchen cabinets and a uh, and an old door, like an old closet door that's flat. 
and that's going to go here probably going to come out to here hopefully so it'll give me a lot more room and then this whole setup is going to go down this side of the wall here this might make me feel a little claustrophobic but honestly I think I'll be all right but I don't have a whole lot of room to work with as it is if you can tell I've got whatever whatever this support is here blocking me and then I've also got all of my landlord's brothers jukeboxes but looks like I'll actually be able to maybe make some videos from down here show a little bit of a uh, technology Ooh, not been too wired did I mention I have ADD um, but yeah I'm gonna continue playing with this see if I can find a version of Linux I like on it and then once I have the workshop set up I'm gonna shoot a vi shoot a video of installing that Linux and trying to get it set up but uh, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with that gateway yet uh, I mean, come on, it's probably a 350 megahertz is really not much you can do with it. But I can also just shoot a video of uh, what technology was like back then. But if you have any questions, just please leave them in the comments. Thank you.